working on another project with Zack Snyder? Well, it's been more than 10 years uh, that we have been collaborating together and uh, it, 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 it stays exciting, it stays um, uh, challenging and it, it's, um, well, you know, there's that saying in Hollywood, never change your winning team and, uh, it, you know, we, we just go really well together and uh, we know of each other what to expect, but at the same time know how to push each other, you know, to the maximum creativity output, you know, that is like needed uh, to finish like um, a big saga like this. Did you get the script first or did Zach phone you up saying I just need you and you said yes immediately? Well, you know, um, if, you're, if you're well befriended with, uh, with the director, it means that you talk on a regular basis and, and you, you talk about things coming up, whether in my world, whether in his world. And um, so yes, it was discussed like uh, way early on. Um, I, I had the script in a very early stage, uh, way before the shooting started. And so you can start thinking about like, okay, you know, what's, what type of music does Cora need? So what is Nobles all about? What, what are all these other characters all about? And then when you see the film, um, um, sometimes it, uh, elements of it are a surprise. And other ones are like, oh, I thought Zach would, would, do, would do something like that. And, um, and then the whole process starts with all the teams together, right? It's the visual effects supervisor, the, 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 the sound effects, the picture editor, me as a composer. And it all starts moving at the same time, you know, just like a slow moving train. And then a year and a half later, it's all done. <laughs> and it's an amazing film. And what I love, it's got like vast different planets, different characters that all have their own like different sound. Do you start with like, the characters or the place first when you're developing a score as vast as this? It's, um, I, I think uh, my, my, my my, my first um, um, dibble in the water, if you will, was um, the Schneider cut of Justice League. You know, just like having so many characters in, in, in one film, they all needed like their own theme and identity and thing. And so it's the same with, the, with this movie. Keep in mind, though, that we always worked on two movies at the same time. You've seen only movie number one. Um, and so I'm not going to say what's happening in movie number two, but it, what I'm trying to say is that you're constantly, it's like a bigger span. Uh, it's not just this movie, it's the second movie. So the, the music um, is, is part of that, you know, just like uh, the little that we know of some of the characters in this movie would then encompass the same approach to the music. It's like, I'm not going to tell you too much about this person. You'll find out. And some of the other events around the person are pretty much spelled out in this movie. And the music would do the same. And so the music is always the answer to what the storyline is and what you see on screen and what people are perceiving while watching it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys! <laughs> hey You Guys! Hey, that's what they all say. Hey You Guys! Hey! hey.